Hello everyone, today in this video, the topic covered is area of compound shapes. Steps to follow. Split the shape into different sections. Each section should be a shape that the area can be calculated with the formula that you already know. After that, add all the areas together to get the total area of the compound shape. Example question. Work out the area of this shape. First, you split the shape into a rectangle and triangle. Then, you state the formulas that will be used. Area equals width times height for the rectangle. And area equals a half times base times height for the triangle. The rectangle area. 6 times 4, which is 24 centimeters squared. Triangle area. A half times 2 times 4, which is 4 centimeters squared. Then you add all the areas together. 24 plus 4 is equal to 28 centimeters squared. Therefore, the area of the compound shape is 28 centimeters squared. Now we're going to look at the exam question. Work out the area of the shaded region. The units are in centimeters. First, you find the area of the triangle. You state the formula and you input the values into the formula. So a half times 10 times 12 is equal to 60. Then you find the area of the rectangle, which is five times three, equaling to 15. To find the area of the shaded region, you have to subtract the area of the rectangle from the area of the triangle, which is 60 minus 15, which is equal to 45. Therefore, the, the area of the shaded region is 45 centimeters squared. Tonight, these are the two main types of questions, either that they give you a compound shape that you have to work out the area by splitting the shape into smaller ones that you know the equations for and there's also the shaded region where you have to find the area of the bigger shape and the smaller shape then you have to do the area of the big shape minus the area of the small shape in order to find the area of the shaded region I hope you found this video useful, please click on the subscribe and bell buttons for more content from this channel and please feel free to share. Thank you for your time.